Alright, so you just saw the pretty impressive demo of RTX Voice and you want to use it but you do not own an RTX graphics card just like me? Worry not, I'm here to help. Hey, Greeny here for Greenbox and in today's video we are going to attempt to install the RTX Voice app on a non-RTX system. I am currently running a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti and per definition I should not be able to use RTX voice but there is a way. Short disclaimer, you might get different results than I do because I assume NVIDIA will be patching out the path we are attempting today. What do we need? Uh, we just go straight to the official NVIDIA RTX voice website and there download the app as we would do if we had an RTX system. We just go to download the app, click it, download the app. Once the app is downloaded, just start it. Once you start the installer, you will be greeted with this error message, which is basically telling you that you cannot run RTX voice on a non-RTX system. But that's the part where it gets funny. So we just close this message and then go to our C drive. And within the C drive in the temp folder, we will have an NRTX voice folder. And uh, we are going into this folder and now we have to change one file. And to do that, we need a notepad or notepad plus plus or whatever you want to use uh, in admin mode. So to do that with notepad, we simply go to start type notepad do a right click on it say run as administrator and now we are having a notepad in admin mode then open the file so we again navigate to our c drive temp nvidia rtx voice and within here we go to nvafx and here we go to see all files and we have to edit the rtx voice n vi file let's open that up and we see it's basically an xml so now the thing which we need to delete is this block which says constraints that's what's holding us back from installing this app so we're just simply gonna delete this block save the file again Control s close the editor and now run the setup exe which is located in the extracted folder from the installer. So we're just gonna do that. We are greeted again by Nvidia and oh my God, we have no error message. So uh, we agree and continue. And now <laughs> Nvidia is just gonna install the app as well as the driver and we are done. So we can close it and our RTX voice app is running. And to demonstrate that, I real quick go and start OBS and record a short section with my usual recorder as well as OBS using RTX voice. And to do that, we need to open OBS Studio and within OBS Studio, we simply have to add a new audio input capture. In my case, I call it RTX uh, voice. And when you're selecting your input capture device, make sure to select the newly installed microphone NVIDIA RTX voice driver or device or whatever you want to call it and say OK. And now we see that this RTX voice is picking up my microphone. If you don't see any levels in your OBS when you did that, make sure that your input device in the RTX voice app is set to your actual microphone. Before we now start to record, make sure to actually tick the box for remove background noise from your microphone, which is basically the reason you are using this app. So we are gonna tick that. Okay, so this is a short test. Let's see what happens when I drum my table. Yeah, you should not be able to hear it. That's impressive. Yo, that works too. <laughs> and this is, this is pretty, this is pretty impressive. I don't know what to do with this technology right now, but uh, I will sure find something to do with it. Okay, that's impressive. I need to be honest, this is awesome. That was the video. This is how to install the RTX voice app 
on your non-RTX system. I hope this video helped. If so, leave a like and let me know in the comment section that it actually helped you. Also, feel free to subscribe to this channel to not miss any further videos. And well, now we're on the end card, so click one of those videos. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox, and I hope you're happy with your RTX voice on your non-RTX system. All right, bye.